Hey guys, welcome to vtechacademy.com. And here in this presentation, we are going to discuss few trigonometric identities. So, here in this video, we are going to discuss this topic under three different sections. So, coming to the first section where we are going to define about identity and in the second section we are going to discuss trigonometric identities and in the last section we are going to discuss an example on this identity so coming to the first section where we are going to define an identity so an equation in one or more variables is called an identity if the equation is satisfied for all the possible values of the variables involved in the equation for example we have here a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square it is an algebraic identity held for all a comma b belongs to r and now let us consider the given example a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so now let us assume the value for a as 2 and b equal to 3 and now substituting both the values in the given example we get your 2 plus 3 whole square which is equal to a square that is 2 square plus 2ab 2 into the value of a that is 2 into b that is 3 plus b square which is 3 square here so that implies we get here 5 square which is equal to 2 square that is 4 plus 2 into 2 that is 4 4 into 3 which is 12 here plus 3 square which is 9 so that implies we get here 5 square which is 25 is equal to 25 so hence LHS is equal to RHS so we can say that the given example is an algebraic identity held first all a comma b belongs to R and now let us proceed and establish some basic trigonometric identities and use them to draw some useful results. So first we begin with the most fundamental one that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. And the second most identity is cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. And then the next identity is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. So first let us consider first identity and prove whether this identity is true for all values of theta. So first let us consider a right angle triangle ABC with angle B is equal to 90 degrees and angle CAB is equal to theta. And here let us write the side opposite to the angle as the opposite side so here we get BC as the opposite side and AB as the adjacent side and AC as the hypotenuse so let us first find the value of sine theta so we already know that sine theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse side so now let us write opposite side as BC divided by the hypotenuse side AC and then coming to the value of cos theta. So cos theta is given by the formula adjacent side by hypotenuse side. So writing the values we get here AB by AC as the value of cos theta. And then substituting the values of sin theta and cos theta in the given identity we get here BC square by AC square plus AB square by AC square. So here we have common denominator. So we can write here AC square in the denominator and in the numerator we get AB square plus BC square and here by using Pythagoras theorem we can replace them by writing AC square. So hence here AC square, AC square gets cancelled and we get the result as 1. So therefore sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 is an trigonometric identity. And now let us prove whether cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. And now let us write the value of cosecant square theta and cot square theta. So that implies we can write 1 by sin square theta in the place of cosecant square theta minus 
cos square theta by sin square theta in the place of cot square theta. So hence we have a common denominator sin square theta. So let us write a common denominator sin square theta and in the numerator we get 1 minus cos square theta. So here by using the first basic identity we can write 1 minus cos square theta as sin square theta here divided by the denominator sin square theta. And here both the sin square theta gets cancelled and we get the result as 1. So hence we can say that cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 and it is true for all the values of theta and hence it is an identity. And then coming to the next identity that is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. So let us write 1 by cos square theta in the place of secant square theta and sin square theta by cos square theta in the place of tan square theta. So we get here 1 by cos square theta minus sin square theta divided by cos square theta. And here we have a common denominator cos square theta. So we get cos square theta in the denominator and in the numerator we get 1 minus sin square theta. So by using the first identity we can write 1 minus sin square theta as cos square theta divided by the denominator cos square theta. So hence both these values gets cancelled and we get the result as 1. So hence we can say that secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 and it is true for all the theta values and it is also an identity. And now let us verify the equation for some known values of theta. So now let us assume theta is equal to 45 degrees and substitute it in the first basic identity that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So here by substituting the value that is theta equal to 45 in the identity we get sin square 45 plus cos square 45 degrees and here the value of sin 45 is 1 by root 2. So we get here 1 by root 2 whole square plus the value of cos 45 that is 1 by root 2 whole square. So that implies we get here 1 by 2 as under root 2 whole square is equal to 2. So we get 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 and as we have common denominator we get 2 in the denominator and in the numerator we get 1 plus 1. So that implies we get here 2 by 2 and here by simplifying we get 2 1 time is 2 and 2 1 time is 2. So we get the result as 1. So hence we verified the equation for theta is equal to 45 degrees and thus we can say that all these identities are true for all values of theta. So this was a basic introduction on trigonometric identities. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdcacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.